Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. The Swiss Alps form a dramatic backdrop for one of the world's most challenging sled dog races, the annual La Grande Odyssee. Over 10 days, 20 mushers race over a 1,000 kilometer course stretching across the Alps between Switzerland and France. Competitors from 12 countries compete for the 100,000 euro prize. Considered the most technically difficult race of its kind in the world, 280 dogs race up a 25,000 meter incline. These dogs require enormous endurance and strength to complete the course. Mel Andrews from the UK is racing for the first time with her kennel of Siberian Huskies. I decided to become a musher um, because I love working with dogs and I just love being out with the dogs. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the favourites to win is veteran musher Radek Havrada of the Czech Republic, who's returning for the fourth time. He won the 2009 competition and came in second in 2010. <laughs> Vymíká, vymíká strašně, strašně moc všem závodům je strašně atypický v tom, že se to jede ve vysokých horách s velkým převýšením, stoupání, klesání, technicky náročná nesmírně trať. This year's course is the most challenging yet, with the dogs needing to get through 11 stages. Race founder Henri Cam is convinced that the team that wins the race is the team that has the closest bond between Musha and Dog. La formule magique pour qu'un musher puisse gagner, c'est une composante de plusieurs choses. C'est la passion, c'est beaucoup beaucoup de temps d'entraînement et beaucoup d'amour pour ses chiens. Le musher, il, il parle à ses chiens, il donne des ordres vocaux. Un musher est aussi un coach de son équipe. Et pour que son équipe marche, il faut que l'équipe ait confiance dans le coach. Et donc c'est la passion, c'est l'amour et beaucoup de technique et d'entraînement. The majority of the racing dogs are Siberian or Alaskan Huskies. Siberians are, are in a sense very different to other dogs. Um, they're very much athletes. Um, they are born to run. These are the marathon runners of the dog world. When these dogs are running, they're just like... Uh, like us uh, on endurance uh, running, they use gas and they use oxygen, just also like the engine of a car, okay? Now the gas for human is glycogen that we have in the muscle. The gas for, for dogs is fat. So the dogs to run, they need fat in the food and they need oxygen from outside. Now what's called the VO2 max is the maximum quantity of oxygen that the dog can get in his body in one minute per one kilo of dog. The VO2 max of a sled dogs that we have on the Grand Odyssey is roughly 230 milliliters per minute per kilo. The VO2 max of a top level uh, marathon runner or three athletes is probably 85 only. So you see the difference. Um, there's more oxygen coming to the dog and so he can use more fat and so he gets much more endurance without any problem. So we're talking about different, totally different thing than humans. People have to understand that what seems to be very hard on a human is not hard at all on a dog.